here. We'll have a pinch hitter coming on now with a runner at first and one gone. Now batting number 87. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. 0 and 1, here it comes. Turned on down the line. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Ball one, well below the zone. Not a bad pitch right there on 0 and 2, a fastball. And I think as a hitter right now, you have to continue to go up there looking to hit off the fastball. The one two lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Verdugo stands at first with one out. Working for the punch out and the offering. Into right field, that's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And there is a National League record. 45 straight games with a hit as he'll set his sights now on the all-time mark. You know, Dero, they say that records are made to be broken, but I never thought I would ever see anybody in the National League get 45 consecutive games with a hit. And to just sit now back and it. think about Third the guys that ran out of steam good. and the guys that oh, didn't get the there year. after the third. For him to be sitting at 45 All right, games get halfway, and the get way halfway. he went about it, moving balls out of the ballpark, base hits up the middle the other way, occasionally the swing and bunt. It has all come together, and now he's the leader in the National League. Now batting. First baseman, Guy. Four oh. hit toward the hole. And that is through in the left field, the base hit. He beats the tag, safe. It's a big two out hit, and that ties the ball game. You know, D. Rowe, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Up next for the Dodgers, the shortstop, Alec Fredman. He's running. Pitch outside the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Looked to me like they anticipated him trying to swipe that bag. I mean, the pitcher shortened his delivery to the plate, but it didn't make a difference in the slightest. He still swiped that bag. One run, eight hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. And it appears they're going to give him the intentional walk here, so now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. And this is the right move here. With first base open, take the bat out of this guy's hands every single time. Up next to the Dodgers, the left fielder, Johnny Pena. Now here's the ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. You can kiss it goodbye. So he will touch him all on the grand slam. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game.
and they complete the comeback with a flourish going deep with a grand slam to take the lead you don't get style points in this game but I'd give them some if I could hand some out Your Gilberto Montalvo has been summoned from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start the eighth Number 10 Gilberto Montalvo drive home afterwards as their guys have taken the first two of this three game series a win tomorrow and they can break out the brooms five to one the final total in today's game Los Angeles capitalized on a huge seventh inning on the way to the win Fletcher Leone earns win number four on the season Billy Hughes pitched well allowing only two earned but ends up taking the loss so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vasgers and you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the show